What's up guys, I'm DragonBees and it's time to watch the next episode of Pokemon Ultimate Journeys. Um, so obviously we uh, post Ash's win in the World Coronation series and it was left at uh, a phone call from Go in regards to Project Mew. So we're, we're obviously going to see what's happening with Go uh, post uh, Ash's win in the Coronation series. So let's see what's happening today. So this is okay. So this is this is happening whilst it's uh, whilst the coronation series was happening. Is this going to be a situation where it's Mewtwo and not Mew? Because I feel like last time they went to a weird abandoned island somewhere in the middle of nowhere that was hard to access, it was Mewtwo. <laughs> I could be wrong. I could be off on some tangent here, but like, I don't know. Given that they're picking up psychic energy, really strong psychic energy that they think is coming from Mew, and given that Mewtwo is obviously a clone, it's very, it's very possible, but it also feels like a weird thing to be almost a mislead at this point. I would think that maybe Go gets to find Mew at this point, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> And there's also not a lot left of journeys. I think there's only one episode after this. Or what, one episode I've got access to, I think. I'll have to look into it. The, the, literally, the title's Project Mew. <laughs> My god, look at all the Pokemon. Ah, Gloom, Vile Gloom. Oh, there's a Totodile!
<laughs> I love the fact that Go made the little tracker thing. That that's great. No, don't, don't answer. I'm so glad Horace made it in. Oh, I seen me. What is that what is what is Gary doing? Oh, up. Oh. Wait, why is horoscope Verizian? Oh, so he caught it during a mission. That's cool. I was like, I was like, since when did I was waiting for him to get out of his Gardevoir? There you go. Random. <laughs> It's so weird seeing them have legends and mythicals. Oh. Uh oh. They've lost radio signal. That's how Jurassic Park started. Or Jurassic World, the third one, Lost World or whatever. They're going to get eaten by tarantrums. <laughs> Oh! So nothing's working. Like, not even Pokeballs are working.
Mm. That's such a sheer cliff face, too. Like, my God. I I couldn't do this. I I'd be absolutely terrified. Also, they they they're all climbing at the same time. That rope, the amount of weight on that rope. Oh! Well, they've got no rope now. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think it would get any worse, and then that happened. I'm like, oh. Don't let go. <laughs> oh, there's a flock of them. So they're gonna go to the ledge on the on the left of them. Oh, can you imagine that? Oh, I'd hate that. Ah. Oh my god, it's like the ultimate video game trope. There's a there's a cave behind the waterfall. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love that. Carping.
I want the gun into a hole. Why would me dig a hole? So they found they found a berry that Mew was munching on. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> hey, Tyrant. So I wasn't that far off of a tire ranch from eating them. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Oh, he, oh, he's right there. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hey, that weave all strong. Oh, hello. Oh. Ah, oh, he was trying to help go. You made him panic. That was your mistake, go. You you made him panic. Who wants to help? Oh my god, is he going to evolve? Uh-oh. Steelix, maybe? Onyx? Something that digs. What? <laughs> I 
Okay. Oh, they're not going to find Kyogre by any chance in here, are they? Oh, the water's moving. Yep. <laughs> well, they are in Hoenn after all. Cliffhanger. Oh. <laughs> I've had so many cliffhangers the last few episodes. All right, that's a cool. This has been. This is cool. I, it's a. It's a. It's obviously, because you know we've just gone through like four major episodes of battling. This is now a change in pace, but it's a good change in pace. I actually really like it. Um. So yeah, this this area that they're in is just isolated, and everything's just living here quite happily. And Mew is here, but. Is he going to get to meet Mew? I assume probably, but now they've got Kyogre and Groudon to deal with. And they've only got Azumarill, Weavile, and Grookey. Now, Grookey is looking very disappointed in itself because it's not being able to help, or Go's not letting it help. I don't know if it's going to evolve, but it feels like this could be a thing. Considering his other two starters did, although the other two... Let's so, say yeah, Sobble and uh, Score Bunny did did evolve all the way, and Grookey's the only one that hasn't. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, good episode, good episode. So if you enjoyed that, make sure to check out the rest of the reactions on the playlist. I also am reacting to the first season of Pokemon, um, which has been an interesting thing to watch side by side with this. Um, I'm also uh, putting out other reactions and, and shiny reactions and cooking videos. and You check, there's lots of content on the channel. You, you go have a look at that. And uh, if you want to, you can subscribe. And then you'll know when those videos go live. I do stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash dragonbees. But yeah, let me know what you think of this episode. This is, this is a change in pace, but I think it's a good change in pace. And the fact that Ash isn't even in the episode, they showed a brief highlight of the fact that he was battling at the time. This has been happening whilst the Coronation Series fin final was happening. So we're seeing it from Go's perspective at that exact time frame um, is, is very cool. So I assume that perhaps Go will achieve his goals now and then they'll meet up and sort of have that like final, like we've both done what we wanted to set out to achieve on this journey. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.